my parents and I always wanted a Catholic ceremony with a full mass, and we've been here a bunch of times and really love your church. Sounds like you two have quite a connection. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Tell me about your relationship with God. I was raised Catholic. Um, we went to church every Sunday. You know, I would pray sometimes as a kid, but I did stop going to church in high school. Um, but I still make sure to go on Easter and Christmas. Uh, God's still a big part of my life. And how about you? What's your relationship with God? Oh, um, I'd say it's decent. Um, I mean, it's pretty solid, actually. I didn't grow up going to church like Tom did, but I had a couple friends who did, and they would tell me about it. Um, She's gone to church with me a, a bunch of times. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I'm super legit about it now. Do you pray? Yeah. I want to show you some literature on some of the classes we offer. You can either do a week of three hour classes or one full weekend. Classes? It's something we require for all of our engaged couples. You'll learn how to approach common problems. Everything from conflict management to natural family planning. What's natural family planning? Uh, the best way to plan to have children. You mean like birth control? Actually, we do not recommend birth control. All of those hormones can really damage your body, so that's why we recommend the natural process. What's that? I'm sorry, just I, I want to understand. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. why I'm here to answer any questions you may have. Basically, you want to time your sexual intercourse with your menstrual rhythm. Another way is to keep a calendar and track your cervical mucus. Basically, you write down the consistency each day. And during ovulation, it's more stretchy and clear. Um, can we just use condoms? I'm not here to tell you what to do, but I strongly encourage engaged couples to abstain until marriage. Have you two had intercourse yet? Um... Not, not really. It depends what you mean by intercourse, right? Like, there's a lot of different holes. I'm going to step out and grab some paperwork. Excuse me. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. What is wrong with you? What did you want me to say? He asked. I don't care. Make something up if you have to. You want me to lie to a priest? It's not lying. I feel like if I believed in God, he would not want me to lie. I know, but we're going to get married in this church. I just wish you would be more excited. I am excited. You don't seem excited. You're questioning everything you say. I just, I'm nervous. I, like, don't like being the center of attention. You know that about me. This is the most important day of our lives. I know, I know. I just, like, why do we have to get married in a church? Just don't say anything when he comes back, okay? Here are some forms I will need you to fill out. The first is a proof of baptism. Uh, you'll need to attach the actual certificate from the church that performed the ceremony. I will need an eyewitness signature on that. And the second form is a proof of consent from both of you. Do you two live together? Not yet. That's good. We require that you don't until after the wedding day. Uh, for sure. Um, we're just having an apartment issue that we're dealing with, but it's not a big deal. What's the issue? Anna's lease is up at the end of next month, and she's already given notice to her landlord, so she's just going to move in with me since we're going to get married anyway. Uh, but, if, you know, it's like I said, it's not a big deal. We can figure something else out. What? We'll talk about this later. No, no, no. I think we should talk about this right now. If I don't move in with you, I don't have a place to live. So, sorry. Um, what, what's the problem with us living together? We've found that couples that move in together before marriage are more likely to call off the wedding. Okay, well, we already have a date set, so nobody's calling off the wedding. Divorce is also a huge concern. I don't understand. I mean, I feel like couples should be required to live together first to see if it's a good fit. Yes. I feel like couples are way more likely to get divorced if they haven't lived together first, but even that wasn't true. Um, like, where am I gonna live? My credit's really not good right now. I'm having a very hard time finding a job. It wouldn't be an issue if you didn't quit your last job. I had to quit my last job because I was literally being harassed. Everybody told me that I had to quit except for you, so you're just not supporting me. I'm not supporting... You want to talk about support? I mean, like, you're not supporting me. Like, you know what this is. I'm trying to support you, but you're asking me to lie, and I'm confused. This is you trying? I'm confused why you're asking me to lie. Whoa, I didn't, I didn't... I didn't... I did not ask you to lie. You absolutely asked me to no, lie. No, I didn't. You just did when he left. You asked me to lie. No, no I didn't. So what would you have me say? So when he said, do we have sex? Do we have sex? Just take my lead. Take you your know? lead. Yes. Take your lead lying. There's just some things that are not appropriate to bring up in front of priests. Like, okay, so why did so you like, talk about the holes? How is that the appropriate answer? I brought answer? up my anatomy because he brought up my cervical well, mucus. Well, Jesus, how dense are you? He's a priest. Your... I mean, of course he's going to ask these I really things. don't remember talking about your sperm. I don't remember talking about your dick. I don't remember talking about any of it. You we're guys were having a cervical... private conversation about my own cervical mucus, so you can shut the fuck up. Now listen, I'm not interested in lying anymore. If you want to get married in a Catholic church and that's important to you, wonderful. Let's do it, but I'm not going to do it inauthentically. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Thing, right? Like I can confess to you because you're a priest and that's sacred, right? So we can confess, right? 
let's have a confession. Let's do that right here. Let's go ahead just, and have a, just shut up. Let's go ahead and have a confession, okay? So I lied. Sorry, I, I lie all the time. I, I, I don't do it on purpose. I'm not like a bad person. I just, I'm trying to make people happy. And so I push my own feelings aside. I've always been lying to try and make people feel better about themselves. It's just always something that I've done, but I don't want to do that here because I want to get married, right? And I don't want to start my marriage with a big fat fucking lie. So he told me that he loved me and I told it back even though I wasn't ready because I wanted to make him feel good. And he asked me to get married and I said yes, even though I knew that we were moving too fast because I wanted to make him smile and I wanted his family to be proud of me. And then he said, let's do it in a church. And I said, okay, even though I am not remotely religious. So, we're all on the same page. We're being honest with each other now. So please just tell me that I can move in with my fiance because if not, I'm completely fucked. <laughs>